Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Sunny Sky R25 ESC. Now this is just came out new, I think it came out new, I just saw it new on uh, Banggood and I had to get one to test it because of, look at all these capacitors, that's just crazy. So this is a 25 amp continuous current and it's a 35 amp burst up to 10 seconds so that's good, that's plenty enough. And they're fairly cheap, they're $10, so that, that's very good. And they even have a 10 ton capacitor, which is just awesome. Uh, they are D-Shot 600 ready, so we could run D-Shot right out of the box. And it has how many capacitors here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 capacitors. Wow. Um, I'm, I'm guessing I have high hopes for this, so we're going to have to wait and check it out. Uh, this has a 10 ton capacitor, we already said that. It reduces the high frequency noise, which is good. Um... It takes only a 2 to 4S light, but maybe you could push it with a 5S, but you'll probably end up burning it. So it's fairly tight, fairly small also, so that, that's pretty good. Um, and that's really all I can say about this now. So let's just put it on the bench and take it for a go and see how it goes for us. All right, guys, so how did this do? This did very good, actually, very good. More than I expected, actually. Um, in voltage drops, I'll have this on the screen. Voltage drops is 12.4 volts. That's a low chance of a VTX blackout, which is amazing for $10. Uh, for example, Restart 35 amp ESC was 7.6 volts. So that's, that's a very big difference. Um, the voltage spike 21.6 beautiful that is it like right in the safe zone like in the low part of the safe zone, not even on the high part so that's very good uh the racer star ms series was 30 uh 28.6 volts that's that's a bit scary i mean 27 volts is what i consider to be the the, the, the top top of the safe zone okay you can actually go that's fine but if he if it reaches 30 and up and then that's just very bad for your components. That's just burning stuff up. Um, so this one is very good. It beat the Emacs Bullet. It beat the DYS DS 30 amp, and it beat the Racer Star 35 amp ESC. So this is actually a pretty good buy. Now don't forget this is a 25 amp version, so uh, it's rated for 35 amp burst for 10 seconds, which is good. But I don't think it could do that for 10 seconds. But let's just give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, there is, however, a 35 amp version of this, but I did not get that in. It was too late for me really to get it in because it came out and I've already just used my budget on a bunch of things. So, um, yeah, and I only have one of these, so I'm not going to be able to stick one of these, uh, stick it on a quad to test it uh, just because I just needed to get a bunch of stuff in for you guys. Just test it on the bench right now. And then and, and there was some BL Heli 32 ESCs that were pretty expensive and I kind of bought like four of those so I can actually put those on the bill and we can test those and these guys I just got one of each so uh, later on maybe if they're very good I'm actually gonna probably try to get more and put them on bills and actually test them so overall uh, if you're thinking of getting it if you want a 25 amp BSC and it's cheap this is actually very well in in, in, in the testing I've done it's doing very good I'm, I'm very pleased with it I would choose it to be honest if you have had a choice right now between this the Emax 30 amp ESC and the Racer Star 35 amp ESC. I would buy this. So yeah, I, I would really go for this. That's just my opinion. This is completely up to you. I'm just showing you what I saw and and uh, and what I think. So I would definitely get these as a backup. You know, if you needed a backup, some cheap backups, you could put them in the house. So maybe I'll do that also. But let's just wait a little bit because there's a 30 amp version. I'm really curious to try those out. And um, or 35 amp. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but the, the, there is a higher rated version. And um, yeah. So overall, this was a very good uh, ESC on on the noise perspective and voltage spikes and drops. Um, and that's all I can really say right now about this ESC. So I hope it really I hope it helps someone out there. And um, if you guys have any any suggestions or any comments, just feel free to let me know. And that's gonna conclude you guys. So yeah. See you guys.